Could be taking control yeah. Ooh, What's going on everyone my name is Zim and welcome back to the channel Hopefully you enjoyed every single one of you feeling fine fantastic Today we're joined by the one and the only Tanya Hi Yes ladies and gentlemen today we're going to take a look at another scene from the movie Yuri or URI, whatever the pronunciation is. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of people were criticizing me saying, oh, why would you say that it's Pakistani terrorists or they're, they're Pakistani soldiers? I just presume they were because of that's what the story was about through the trailer. Now, I've got it here. Um, I'm, going to, um, I'm going to read it. So one of the things that we know about the, the Indian line control, the surgical strike, one thing we do know is it, it says... Pakistan troops at the border resulting in deaths of two Pakistani soldiers and nine wounded. Pakistan rejected India's reports of other casualties. Pakistani resources so sources reported that at least eight Indian soldiers were killed in exchange and one was captured. So I presume that they were fighting against each other. Hmm. And I'm pretty sure that's what the URI is all about, yes? Mm -hmm. That's what I thought as well. Yeah. So that's why I thought there were Pakistanis attacking the Indians. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know, guys. Let us know in the comment section. We're not offending anyone. It's li literally, we're just talking about what we see. And we've seen the trailer. You guys know we've seen the freaking trailer. So I don't understand why people were getting upset about that. But anyway, you're allowed to voice your opinion. We let you voice your opinion. But just know that that's why we said it. It's mm. not that we're being racist saying, oh, you're Pakistan are terrorists. No. It's because literally there were there were they were Indian soldiers. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if there were Pakistanis that were killing and they ambushed the Indians. Mm -hmm. Who would have done it? Indians? No. But that's what I mean. So that's why I said it. That's why I thought about that straight away. No, no, of course not. So, I mean, I didn't want to offend anyone. I'm not offending anyone. No, but it says it here. 2016 Indian line of control surgical strike part of Indo-Pakistani conflicts. Exactly. That's why. And it's a war. People are saying oh, it's not a war. And it's like, well, it is a technically a war between Pakistan and India because it's been happening for so long. Mm. It's not a conflict that happened for like a small period. No, it's still going. Mm. So, I mean, it's, yeah, I, I don't know. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion, but that's just what I thought. And that's what Tanya thought, because she told me that after as well. So, I mean, there you go, guys. But this has been quite good. It's been quite, quite good. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing the next scene, guys. I really am. Remember, if you want to watch movies in full, head over down the description down below, over to Patreon, where you can watch movies and TV series with both Tanya and I. They'll be over there on Patreon. And now, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's get into it. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Come on. Uh-oh. Backup has arrived. Oh, you know what would be bad, too? Because oh. they don't know. They're dressed as Indian soldiers. Yeah. So they think it's their men shooting them. I suppose they know now what they've done, but it's difficult. Yeah, I know, to... but right now they're seeing that and they're like, what the heck? It's, is that our men shooting us or it's what? It's difficult to recognize them. Yeah, exactly. Exactly right. Oh. You know what that is, yeah? Nice, nice, nice. Or just hop in the tank and start blowing them all up. Oh, that's what he's going to do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's not. Oh.
Whoa. The heck? He ran through there like That's what he was, I was gonna uh, say. How the heck did he run Some James that? Bond sort of style, didn't he? Uh oh, rocket launcher. No. Uh oh. Careful. Mm. Oh shoot. Hola. Don't tell me there's anything wrong with him. Uh-oh. What happened? What happened? Well, he, he got... Oh, he's hearing. He's hearing. He's the, probably yeah, hearing white noises. The, the explosion was very, very close yeah. to him. That's why. Yeah, he's probably getting white noises in his ears. No, no, I thought that he got hurt. No. Oh, I should have snuck up from behind, though. Whoa. Whoa. <gasps> oh, my gosh. <gasps> wow. Pop goes the weasel. <coughs> wow. Pop goes the weasel, I reckon. What the heck? Oh, no. Grenade. Oh, no. The grenade was attached to the gun. Oh, oh. Run! Run! Oh. Impossible. Impossible. How? How can he run? It's impossible. How can he run? It's a grenade. It was already pulled. Yeah, but it takes a while for it to explode. It takes like three seconds. Yeah. Not even. He died. Yeah. That's shocking though. I didn't expect him to die. Really? He died? No. Wow, he did too. Yep, he did. Oh my god. That's gosh. his mum. Wow. He was one of the main characters too. And that's his brother, see? Wow. Wow. <gasps> I wasn't expecting him to mm. die. Wow. And now I bet you his brother goes on a rage. Look at the daughter, bro. Well, the, yeah. <sighs> I tell you, they look like twins, man. Yeah. The brothers? They look so similar to each other. Oh. I bet you now his brother goes on a revenge streak. I bet you any money. I wasn't expecting that. Wow. That was powerful. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Far out. Well, I wasn't expecting that this no, scene. No, no, no. Not at all. She's pregnant as well, she said, right? Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm.
Oh, whoa. That was, uh, that was something else, that one. Mm. That was really, uh, that was really something else. Whew. So they were from Pakistan. Mm-hmm. So why am I getting why am I getting people bash me because I said they're from Pakistan? No, no. I just don't understand. I don't understand. I can say good things, but yeah, I get bashed. I don't understand. I'm probably going to get bashed by saying I get bashed in the comment section. I just don't understand, man. Don't understand the toxicity, I swear. This is what we saw. And this is what we saw in the trailer. In the trailer, we we saw that they retaliated. Yeah. Yeah. But they've never been. The people have always said India have never been the first one to strike first. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They've always been the one retaliating. Yeah. yeah. And it's normal. Most important, Uri ka badla lene ka sab se bada mokha hai. Surgical strike mein khatra jada nahi hai. Ab chahe to jet fighter se LC ke aas paas bane hoye unke thode bunkers nurse kar sakte hain. Munich Olympic mein Israel ke athletes ko PLO terrorist ne maar diya. Hmm. To Israel ne sirf missile chhod kar badla nahi liya. Operation Wrath of God kiya tha. Ek ek terrorist ko dhoond dhoond ke ghar mein ghus ghus ke maara. हिंदुस्तान के आज तक के इतिहास में हमने कभी भी किसी दूसरे मुल्क पर पहला बार नहीं किया है और पाकिस्तान हमारी इसी आदत का शुरुआत से फायदा उठाते आ रहा है 1947, 65, 71, 99। सर हमारी सहनशीलता को कमजोरी समझा जा रहा है यही मौका है उनके दिल में डर बिठाने का उन्हें विश्वास हो जाना चाहिए कि ये हिंदुस्तान चुप नहीं बैठेगा ये नया हिंदुस्तान ये हिंदुस्तान घर में घुसेगा भी और मारेगा Instead of killing innocent Pakistan people, mm-hmm. you surgically destroy them. Yes, in 10 days, in Pakistan, there will be the most difficult surgical strike. Ravinder Ji, you are ready with the team. इस मिशन का नेतृत्व आप करेंगे सारी प्लानिंग आपकी होगी और हर दिन की प्रोग्रेस रिपोर्ट आप मुझे देंगे आप सब पाकिस्तान अथॉरिटीज को व्यस्त रखें पूरी हमले के सबूत दो में जवाब मांगो उनसे मगर किसी भी हाल में किसी को भी हमारे इस प्लान की भनक तक नहीं पड़नी चाहिए ध्यान रहे ये मीटिंग्स लॉक नहीं होनी चाहिए you know who that was, yeah? India's president. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, prime minister, whatever you want to call it. Mm-hmm. 
これちゃんと言おう。ねえ、俺じゃねえ。よし、見る目コンプレッシングやじゃねえ、まだ。ディテールスパターンにわかる。シャレだ。俺が邪魔ってるかぶらない。He wants to go. You saw him then, he wants to go. Hmm. Very sad. Very, very sad. Ah,、uh, was there anything left? Anything left was his watch. Hmm. I wonder if he requests it or they request him to lead them. Maybe he does it because he will happen. I hope he doesn't get in trouble because he's doing that though. I think he's going. He has to go back. Yeah, he has to. <clears throat> he won't be able to live with it just being there, you know what I mean? He's gonna march straight in there and say, Oi, I'm the man to lead. That's where we're going to leave it, ladies and gentlemen. That's where we're going to leave it. How, how interesting and fascinating this movie is, dude. It's more, it's more, it's more than just a movie, in my opinion.、Hmm. It's more than just a movie. It's showcasing 
not just what the Indian Army, the Indian Special Forces are like. No, it's about what every Special Forces, every Army, every everyone that represents the country when it comes to controlling the countries, they play huge roles and huge parts with inside of it. And it makes you think what other things have happened with like special forces or places that have been attacked that we don't know about. Mm -hmm. I know it's 2021 and media and social media, you're going to find out a lot of things, yeah? But also there's things that we don't see behind closed doors that have happened. A lot of things. A lot of things. Mm -hmm. So that's why like it makes me think there's a lot of times where we read about or oh, why why is the why are they why are they attacking them or why have they gone to this country now for no reason? But we don't hear the reasons, yeah? That's the thing. We only get we only hear what gets pushed mm -hmm. by the media to us, yeah. That's how it is. And that's exactly what you just said. That's how it is. That's how it is, that's how it's forever been. But I think now it's a little bit more difficult to hide those sorts of things. But it makes me think, what else have they hidden? Whenever they want to hide something, yeah, they distract population with something yeah, else. Exactly, exactly. Okay, we want to hide this. Let's talk about climate change. Now, for three months, you're going to hear everything about climate change, nothing else. Let's put fear in the population. Then you all think of that's a sudden, what they do? Of course. Then all of a sudden... Everyone forgets about climate change. Uh, in my degree, I studied a subject related to this. Okay. How the media controls, basically... The narrative. Control, controls people. Yeah, we control, controls the narrative, yeah. We control uh, for, because of, uh, the news control us. Yeah. We believe what they, they want us to believe. They can change a story. They can make the good person be bad and the bad be good. And we'll still believe it. Mm-hmm. Because okay. when people are scared, the, yeah, you yeah. don't you don't it, yeah. try you well, don't try to, to do things. You know everything that's just happened, everything yeah. that's just happened with the lockdowns and C nineteen. I think look, it was dangerous, it is very dangerous what has happened. But come on, the media made it sound like there was an atomic bomb that just blew up and it started making people buy toilet paper for no reason. Hmm. What the freaking heck, man? Everyone do, do you think that maybe media tries to control the narrative? They think that they, they, they're in control of everything or they, they want to be in control. They want to be in control of everything. But everything, just, just imagine now, every, everyone starts talking crap about Australia mm -hmm. to a point where no one wants to go to Australia. Mm -hmm. And the economy okay. in Australia goes down. Because okay. there's no tourism, there's no stu there's no international students, there's no people that buy things from Australia, there's nothing people that people don't want to do anything with Australia. Mm -hmm. So it's not only bad for the country, it's bad for the people that live in the country. Because mm -hmm. if you have a business but no one wants to trade things with you, you're screwed. So I think everything works. But also, works, I think yeah, see, together. I don't believe I don't believe in that because I mean, <laughs> look. If you keep money in the country, hmm? I truly do believe a, a, a country can prosper massively. If you keep the money inside, yeah, and if you work with each other inside of your own country, and I'm talking about like not throwing your beautiful, gorgeous produce to another country, yeah, or for example, companies that are building these high rise skyscrapers instead of paying. For example, instead of paying for a window, a glass window in these skyscrapers, instead of paying, I don't know, I'm just guessing, all right? Instead of paying $1,000, they say, oh, you know what? For $200, we can get someone from the Philippines to make one and send them over. Hmm. That's the problem. But I think if you keep everything in-house, I think I truly do believe countries can still prosper. There's other countries around the world that will be impossible because they rely on trading. Yeah? It depends on the country. There's yeah. countries like Australia and, and Spain that basically grow their own things and make their own things. Yeah. So if everything shuts down, it doesn't really matter because we don't really rely on the outside. Yeah. But yeah. still, there's countries that need it to yeah. survive. I get you. I, yeah. I, I, I said Australia just... Because yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I know I what you mean. I could have said, I don't know, another a different. I know country. what you mean. I, but but I'm just, I'm just saying, it, there's, there's some countries out there that can't do it by themselves. But I believe that if countries kept a lot of things in house, they can survive. It's just we have to, as humans, we have to reduce our, our wants. 
there it, it's possible to survive but right now it it, it would be a, sh- a huge change and you know but you know why and it, you know, there'll, there'll be like a lot but of do you know why do you know why to, everything to started to panic everyone started to panic why because we relied on other people for money mm-hmm. other countries relied on other countries for money mm-hmm. so what happens when the well starts to get dry when everyone's when everyone's taking the water out of the well and there's no rain what happens you're scraping the bottom of the barrel. Mm-hmm. You're scraping the bottom of the well. Uh, there's. Um, I think we're in, talking in, about that. In now, one yeah. in one month, there's uh, two hundred people that disappear. Some of them going to work. Some of them they coming back home and they don't come back. But we only know about that dad that took his kids and and the three of them disappeared. That's a real case in Spain. The three of them disappeared because for it two months. Viewers. And everyone's been. Including me, everyone's been look, watching the news to know if, if, if anyone knew anything about the girls, about the father, if, if, if there was anything about it. And everyone was talking about it. Uh, it was on social media. People were, were putting photos of the girls saying, if someone has seen it, please say something. You know what I mean? Like there was people was, was, were actually sitting in front of a TV waiting for the news when People don't do that anymore. We read the news on Facebook. We read the news on, on the internet. Mm-hmm. But yeah. we were actually turning the TV on just to watch that. That's, that's why, what I told you. That's why the news you. have to work hard and they just choose the things that they know that people are going to sit down and actually mm-hmm. turn the TV on to watch that specific thing. They're not going to talk to you about, uh, I don't know, a, a, a rock that has been, that they found on the street. And do, no you believe, about that. do you believe that's why they've tried to take out YouTube multiple times? Probably. Because YouTube now is in control. People don't, people because don't watch there's, TV. Because there's people out there that are on YouTube. Yeah, there's some people that lie. But a lot of people... You can get better and more factual statements from people on YouTube because there's no censorship. Yeah. Well, there is, but you know what I mean. There's no one there telling them a big boss behind them saying, you need to say this. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's why I, that's one of the reasons why I love YouTube because you can voice your opinion. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You can voice your opinion. That's one of the reasons why I absolutely love this platform. There's a lot of things I don't like about it, but that's one of the things I do like about it. Yeah. So anyway, we went way off topic. I think. Yeah, well, we did. We anyway. did. We did. But anyway, we yeah, we, it is what it is. Fantastic, absolutely fantastic. What we just saw. I mean, like I said, guys, um, it, it's uh, the reason why I said Pakistan in the last scene because it quite literally is, is it is a war between Pakistan and India that's been going on for a long, long time, a long, long time. Anything else you want to say? No. no, I think we'll be talking for... Yeah, I think that's it. Too long. <laughs> Guys, let us know what you think down in the comment section down below. Drop a big thumbs up. Hit that subscription button down below. Remember, stay safe, be kind to one another, but most importantly... Be happy. Exactly. Bye. Peace.